Now, in order to fundamentally understand, these are the types of questions a PM should ask in order to fundamentally understand the use cases. Based on this understanding, these are some of the questions that a PM should ask when they're interacting with tech. One, the essence of understanding the same is first, as a PM, ask more questions than answer. Uh, as a PM, ask more questions than answer. Like you should ask your engineer, how fast would the database be? Will it be able to process under a certain SLA? SLA basically means service level agreement. What I mean by that is, ki kya do second can the request ki ki nahi ki? Can I get a particular information? Can, I, can it support complex analytical queries? This is what you should ask as a PM. Second, Always provide the problem, not the solution. You are not going to build technical systems. So product managers should always ask the problem, not the solution, right? Then understand what is tech debt. Tech debt basically means it is the implied cost. Like for example, an engineer tells you, okay, we will build the system, but it will, create, it will take three weeks. You then ask that is there is there a simpler solution which is not as logical but it is very very important so if you say that one person will say that I will solution I will be able to make it in one week but it, it will have certain challenges so that is what you call as tech debt that you have created a sub-optimal solution which, which solves your query for now but will not scale after a certain picture so as a PM you should ask one you should ask more questions than answers. Second, always provide the problem, understand what is tech debt, and also understand what is development costs. That anything that you're building, if, if the development is too high, the pace of execution is slowed. So if, you, if you're building a suboptimal solution, you should also understand the operational cost, the opportunity costs. This is something you should understand fundamentally as a PM. So as a PM, you will do four things when you're interacting with tech. Number one, ask more questions then answers. Second, provide the problem, not the solution, right? Always ask them that this is my problem. How will you solve it? Third, understand tech debt that if somebody says that this solution will take three weeks, you can ask that can we do it in probably one week, but I will understand that there is some suboptimal solution that you're building across. Fourth, also understand the value of development costs. Right? That basically, ki agar main is cheez ko bana raha hu, to meri cost kya? How much time it will take? How much time it will take to execute and take it to the market? These are the four standard questions which a PM should fundamentally ask. Now, ek example karte hai. Let's try to understand translating this into effort. For example, you are a PM and you want to build a feature and you want to understand what trade-offs can you take. Right? So, dekho ab. As a PM, for example, you went to the tech team and asked, let's build a search functionality on a website. So, engineer kya bolega? Engineer bolega, okay, we can use elastic search or solar and set up a pipeline for all the attributes. We get a we will get a rich set of filtering options. So, engineer ne bola ki ham yaar elastic search ko use karenge, right? A PM ne next question, what does the PM the next question asks? The PM says, how long will it take? Engineer says that will take up at least a month. The PM, the PM should ask next question. Can we do it in a shorter time? Right? The engineer says, okay, we can, we can do it in a shorter time, but it, it will be a very simple solution. Like somebody can just query from the DB and get the information. It will take only two days. Now the important part. Now you have two solutions. One has comprehensive solution, which will take a month. The second is, a small solution, which will only take two days, right? In that scenario, in that scenario, the PM should ask what limitations will the, that solution have? Engineer would say a couple of them, right? If the scale grows, it will, it will be hard to imp introduce new filters, right? The PM would say, okay, since we are not optimizing for scale right now, let's just go by the simple solution. L engineer says, okay, let, we will implement the simple solution, but later it will be part of the tech debt that if tomorrow scale comes, we will face a problem. The PM says, all right, I will keep that in mind and consider that part of my product roadmap. Ye puri conversation samaj mein aai? Give me a yes or no. Pehle engineer ne pucha, kya, PM ne pucha, kya bana hoge? To engineer ne bola, ki yaar, ki we will make uh, an elastic search based solution. Then the PM says, how long will it take? The engineer says it will take a month. Then the PM says, I want to do it in a little time. The engineer says, no, no, 
if you want to do it in a little time, it will be a suboptimal solution. Then the PM says, what limitations will it have? The engineer says, okay, if the scale grows tomorrow, there will be a fundamental problem and we will be able, to, we, we will have to put it as part of our tech debt. The engineer says, okay, fair enough. And the PM says, okay, fair enough. I will make it part of the product roadmap. Now the last part for today is that <clears throat> we will understand what are APIs and how do they work. For example, <coughs> Google, ab, ab mujhe ek cheez batao. Uber ke app me जो तुम मैप देखते हो जो तुम मैप देखते हो उस मैप के लिए डू यू थिंक उबर हैज बिल्ट दैट कंप्लीट एप इफ यू बिल्ड इफ यू लुक एट द मैप इन द उबर एप डू यू थिंक डू यू थिंक इट इज इट इज द पी एम इट डू यू थिंक उबर हैज बिल्ट द एंटायर मैप बाई इट सेल्फ डू यू थिंक यस एब्सोल्यूटली यू आर एब्सोल्यूटली राइट सो Google lets you input a small snippet of code in your app to draw a Google map and it is it 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 provides all snippet of code to draw out all the maps do all of those things yes you're absolutely right you're absolutely right so it is just by incorporating a very small snippet of code you can use the functionality of Google socho right it is so so interesting in short apis let an api is a small snippet of code which allows a particular application to use the sec functionality of their application in a second application an api is called an application performance interface right in short apis let applications talk to each other now there are three main kinds of apis the first kind of api is called is like solving a particular problem it is like a like calculating driver directions sending text messages translating sentences it is how you can effectively use google maps in uber in swiggy in multiple places right it is called a software api the second is part is to get certain information right it is the information api like for example if you want to get the recent tweets if you want to get scores if you want to understand today's weather the first is to compute something to get direction it's a computational api the second api is an information api where like trick info gets all the information from the star sports api right application programming interface absolutely absolutely yes and the third api is called the hardware api like snapchat taps into your phone phone's camera to zoom focus and snap photos right so google itself use your geolocation api to figure out where you are so Yes, absolutely. So, what you have to understand is API is a small snippet of code, which you can use to perform multiple actions in multiple applications. Like you can use Google's APIs in your API to use maps, right? And it makes the life of developers very very easy, right? But APIs are not perfect, right? You also have to understand, like in for example, कल को Google का API बंद हो गया. Do you realize Uber's entire supply will be dishandled? Yes, it does. So, अगर कल को मैं एक सवाल पूछता हूं मान लो गूगल का मैप्स का एपीआई फट गया डू यू रियलाइज उबर का पूरा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम बंद हो जाएगा दैट इज हाउ इट वर्क सो एपीआई नॉट परफेक्ट यू ऑल्सो हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इट बिल्ड्स अ लॉट ऑफ डिपेंडेंसीज इट ऑल्सो बिल्ड्स इट ब्रिंग्स अ लॉट बट मोर ऑफन देन नॉट एपीआई आर वेरी गुड फॉर समी टू यूज राइट सो एपीआई इज अलाउड टू सिस्टम टू कम्युनिकेट टू इच अदर द बेस्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ आई आई हैव हर्ड इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बिटवीन टू सिस्टम एंड एपीआई डॉक्यूमेंटेशन डिटरमाइंस द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट यस नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन ऑफ द वेरी गुड एनालॉजीज ऑफ हाउ एन एपीआई इज अज्यूम दैट यू आर गोइंग टू अ रेस्टोरेंट एज अ कस्टमर यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू एंटर द किचन right you need to know what is available right for that you have the menu after looking the menu after looking the menu you you have to you make an order to the waiter which passes it to the kitchen and and in and you get what you what you ask for so think of an api like you are a customer going to a restaurant right you are not allowed to enter the kitchen you need to know what is available right for that you have the menu right and after looking at the menu you make an order to the waiter which passes it to the kitchen and you get what you ask for so here the kitchen is the database right second the waiter is the api that eventually sends the request to the kitchen the customer is you 
right menu is the api doc and order is the api call <laughs> कोई बात नहीं यार कोई बात नहीं योगेश हैज रिटर्न भैया आपसे बेटर एग्जांपल उम्मीद किए थे जस्ट अ जो कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं यार नेक्स्ट टाइम बेटर एग्जांपल करेंगे या ऑसम तो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट्स इट्स अ वेरी वेरी कॉमन एग्जांपल दैट यू वांट टू पुट अक्रॉस राइट सो द किचन इज द डेटाबेस the waiter is the api the customer is you the menu is the api docs and the order is the api call right that is something that you do so this is where we currently stop today's lecture and tomorrow next time we will cover the next part of the lecture abhi ke liye main yahan pe band kar raha hu cool guys i am just taking off thank you very much please like the video subscribe to the session subscribe to the channel as much as possible thank you very much take care bye bye